Hey everyone, welcome to part 3 of this 4 part series uh, about the Red Bull Untapped tournament. We are playing against Mono White and Mono Green in this one, and as a little twist, courtesy to Red Bull and uh, Tournament Center, we're even playing for a giveaway of a Modern Horizons 2 booster box in the last round against Mono Green. So if I win that round, chat, Twitch chat, not the YouTube chat unfortunately, the, the giveaway is already in the past by now. If I win that round, the Twitch chat will have a giveaway for a Modern Horizons 2 box. If I don't win that last round, then Twitch chat will only get one for 4,500 gems. So that's pretty exciting, extra pressure on me. Anyways, the games are exciting. Um, yeah, let's get to it. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Playing against Mono White with triple Valorous stance in the main deck. Oops, that's yeah, no, that's correct. Triple Valorous stance in the main deck. Points prepared for this matchup, that's for sure. Yeah. Great hands. <clears throat> Otherwise, pretty standard mono white list. Uh, interestingly, love playing two spellbinder less. Not even in the sideboard. So, just that makes um, the time walk better, I suppose. Yeah. I want to make them think that I have spike field. <clears throat> Multiple X on a play is pretty great though. Just play another egg. I don't think so. I'm just gonna use my mana efficiently here. Use a free drop. This is, this is a pretty good draw against Mono White. Smoldering Egg is just the best card. Double Valor Stance would be the best turn for my opponent, that's for sure. Looks like they're looking at that egg pretty closely. Oh, opponent, that's not good for you. <laughs> they don't have any way to pump the 3 2. Yeah, okay. So just block. Yeah, opponent clearly doesn't have anything in terms of killing any of these eggs, which will result in maximum damage and maximum pain. Uh, Mm-hmm. 
Horror. Eh, Horror is really bad against Valor stats. <laughs> I could just play all the fading orbs, I guess. Cut a Javari. On the draw. <clears throat> Syncopate. <sighs> Syncopate is kind of bad on the draw. I could play a time walk. <clears throat> they have Talia. Couple of Redains. I don't know. You could also play the Javari. Just make sure you make the land drops. But tap lands just not great. So they have Guardian of Faiths in the sideboard, three of them. So we, we want to be uh, careful to not run into that. Have another Talia. Fateful Absence. Rydain, Borrowed Time. Yeah. Taking their time. Okay, that's a nice hand. I'm really being treating, treated with very, very good opening hands in this in this match so far. it up. Oh no, opponent. Hmm. Huh. Sure, what, should, what I should do here? Not entirely sure. <clears throat> I could have just done iteration, <laughs> make a land drop, then they will deploy a thing though, and I fall a little bit behind on board. This way I keep up Javari for a free drop potentially. And, um, Announcement received. Yeah. They're playing around the Javari, huh?
Risky, risky. I'm going for it though. I want to draw. I gotta. Nice, nice. Um, pool. So I'm gonna rebuke here. Definitely take the land, of course. I kind of want a second on to have land too. I gotta say. But the divide by zero is obviously very nice too. Probably just take the divide. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe I should have taken a land. Yeah, maybe. The more I think about it, I should have probably just taken the land. With memory deluge, I really just want to hit my land drops, and at, at best, untapped and next turn gold spend dragon. On the other hand, like for example, if they kill my egg now, which they kind of they they incentivize to kill my egg, right? I mean, both situations are pretty good for me. But if I then just go gold span turn five. Um, then they're behind against the dragon. They have to kill the dragon too, otherwise they fall too far behind. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I got it all. Um, I guess I'm just gonna divide. Could have played differently. I could have just gone memory deluge, shoot the Adeline and hope to find a spell. But I don't think they have removal because they would have always. Ch oh. They would have chosen to. Kill my egg, I would guess, but they didn't choose to this time. I mean, it's still looking pretty good for me. If I draw land, I am pretty good, depending on what I do. Yeah, now if I draw land, Adeline has to jump my 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, that's a good one. Alright, let's go! 5-0. and zero. Well, I'm, I'm blessed with amazing draws. <laughs> but the deck's good. The deck's good against Mono White too. I, mean, I built it to beat Mono White and uh, I kind of get rewarded here. And guys, I just got informed by... Uh, our lovely uh, tournament center staff, Emma, who informed me that after this match against uh, Monogreen here in the round six of the Red Bull Untapped, after this match, we're gonna do a giveaway. If I win, if I win my match, we're gonna do a giveaway for a Modern Horizons box. Wow, right? And if I lose, 
we're only gonna do one for 4,500 4, gems. So this is a big, I gotta win this for chat now. If I win Modern Horizons box for you guys, if I lose only, I mean only, 4,500 4, gems. Man. So that's uh, exciting stuff, more pressure on me I suppose. Uh, let's do it. All right. Let's let's get that Modern Horizons box Long for you guys. Oh, how amazing from Red Bull, honestly. Like, give them some retreats, give them some attention. Just uh, amazing stuff, giving out goodies and everything. Really, really nice. Announcement received. Really, really love how the company handles um, their promotions and everything. Investing into into competition sports and all that. So mono green. It's a little clunky, huh? That's a keep though. It's, it's pretty clunky though. I guess we play this on turn one. So we're playing against mono green, and they have some weird cards for sure. Uh, they have the back leader. That's a great great one drop here getting under my syncopates and dealing me damage. Really, really annoying. <clears throat> I forgot to hold full control. They're really big brain, they would have sniffed out the syncopate there. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, this is very annoying that they sneaked under my corner magic. Well, yeah, they got like Cemetery Prowler, which is a pretty medium card. And they got one Snakeskin main deck. <laughs> they only, sorry that I laugh, but they only play free Hezekiah's Chariot. Well, I guess they cost wild cards. Um, huh. Come on, opponent, chill out. These count. I, I drew all my counter spells. It's really bad. Too many of them. And my opponent draws one drops. Like, mono green is kind of medium against counter spells. But my opponent, like, I draw all the counter spells and my opponent draws double one drop. Like, ugh. The counter spells on the play are pretty fine against green, but not if they just use their mana so perfectly. <sighs> How do I catch back up? Time walk, I guess. Man, if they have a four drop here, I'm so dead. All right, I, I'm gonna do this and hope they have a four drop, I guess, and hope to snag the four drop, but they still get the cast triggers and attack me for six. It's just obscenely good. Wow. Maybe, maybe the pack leader is better than I think it is, I guess. With lots of four drops, it's good. I mean, they just had the nuts. Turn one, turn two, turn three, two drop, one drop. They just had it all. I want to foretell this epiphany. Because I'm, I might not get another turn here. But I don't have a sixth land. Hmm. I think. Um, I'll just hope to find removal, I guess. Okay. It's looking grim. These one drops just absolutely killing it. If I had an egg, I could efficiently block them. Maybe I shouldn't have kept the hand I kept. Hmm. 
I guess I could have chosen to foretell my time walk there. I'm on nine. If they, if they go for face of Satan, yeah, I mean. Hmm. I probably needed to foretell my time walk, actually. That was a little thoughtless. Because they have just way too much action. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and I, I don't even have a 7th land. Okay. What's happening here? I foretell this. Kill this, take nine exactly. So I definitely have to play hazard. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's that's the line. Guess there's not much reason to do it now. Uh, I, I mean. I lose against inscription no matter what I do. Uh, I yeah, I think I just pass. Whatever, snakeskin veil, snakeskin veil. <sighs> I wouldn't lose against snakeskin veil if I do it all main phase, but they ha only have one copy, and I kind of want them to mess up somehow. Like for example, if they play oddity here, the four four, then I want to counter that. So I don't want to dragon's fire main phase, because I want to have the option if they have the four four haste to, to kill it. Interesting. So I'll kill this. Not activate Haven. And I guess I'm just gonna kill the pack leader then. Oh. Well, I die against inscription no matter what I do. I can't beat that card, so I'm not playing around it. Wow. What if I play mascot first? Does that make sense? I might die, huh? Dead Blizzard Brawl, I die. I'm not gonna win this game. My opponent has way too good of a draw. I need to act this game. Maybe I should have put Mulligan in my hand. My hand was kinda good against any like slowish draw, you know? If they didn't have the one drop, I think my hand would have been pretty pretty great. Right? I just like countered a free draw, I countered a two drop. But them having multiple one drops was just so much damage. Um yeah. Are they going for all out attack? What what's the hand? Hmm. Do I block me with my 4-4 four four or block me with my small I block me with my small stuff, right? Buying time. I need memory deluge. If I find memory deluge, dragon, iteration. Okay. Ooh. Alright, alright, alright. Wow, okay. Now I got the sword coming up too. Oh, right. I might be turning this one around. Wow. Let's go. Dead iteration of the top. It's 
crucial that we got the syncopate hit on the Ezekiel's chariot on turn four. That was a good play by me. That I that I was like because they were also incentivized. They were also incentivized <clears throat> to um, cast a four drop because they had double pack leader in play. Okay. Um, just kill both their creatures. I could also bounce the pack leader and then draw two cards. But then I die against Blizzard Brawl. <laughs> A little bit unfortunate. Kill both their things. They divide by zero doesn't interact with them. Land, that's a little annoying, but playing around blizzard ball. I mean, I think I'm ahead now. Oh! Okay. Got this. Sick! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, what a game! What a turnaround! Oh, that was yeah. The spike field hazard off the top saved my saved my ass. Remember, I needed that spike field hazard, otherwise I would be at zero. That turn where they attacked on turn five, they put me to two. If I wouldn't have drawn that spike field hazard off the top, I would have died. Crazy. Ooh, let's go. Let's get that Modern Horizons box, huh? A uh, box. Box. All right. Damn. Syncopate, huh? The spike field is good against them, though, because they have all these small things. I mean, it's it's fine. Let's say. Sideboard has two more snake skin, two tangle trap. Two Frogmoth. People are still playing Frogmoth. Jeez, that card's so bad. My opponent could just play another Oddity in the sideboard. They only have three in the main deck. Um, yeah. Okay, so two Tangle Traps. That's not that much removal. Leer, Horror, Burning Hands. That's it. That's the deck. Syncopate is like a question mark on a draw. It can snack the four drops. My opponent has a very low to the ground list. But, uh, so I'm not quite sure about Syncopate. It's good against Chariot. I could, I could play Cinderclasm. Yeah, it's good against, yeah, maybe. Okay, let's try Cinderclasm against this player. I could also play Heated Debate. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. I mean, they have Ranger Class, Sculpture of Winter, Pack Leader, Ezekiel's Chariot Tokens. It's like 16-ish cards. 16 cards. <clears throat> that dives to Cinderclasm.
great hands. I got the snake skin on. Nah, I got to I got to bite the bullet there, you know. Fortunately, I fading hope. If I had a fading hope in my hand, I would have not done this, but like next turn is gonna look ugly because then this is gonna be a 4-4. What am I gonna do then? I'm just gonna take it. You know, like I could just take it and then... <sighs> all right. Opponent only plays three. Opponent only plays three chariot, all right? But uh, it's still enough. Uh... So what I could have done, I could have, I guess I could have just taken it. <laughs> yeah, this is just a cold-blooded mono-green draw with snakeskin veil for my two-drop on the play. Uh, yeah, let's not think about it too much. But I guess I could have taken it. They would have hit me down to 17. Then I would have played my Day Viper 0 past the turn. Get hit down to 13. Bounce a thing. And then maybe maybe that would have been better. Yeah, maybe that would have been better. Mm. I mean, they had the worst thing. They had this, They had their chariot. So what can you do? So what do I do here? Bounce the troll. They activate chariot, hit me for five. <sighs> Why can I need time walk? Cinderclasm would be good too, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna divide by zero the chariot, which looks pretty f weird, but That's the play here. We have the two Cinderclasms in our deck. Um, interesting. I think it's the environmental, but it, it could be the mascot. Go to 15. I unfortunately don't have any time walks in my deck left. That's a lot of card draw. <clears throat> yeah, if I had time walk, I guess I would have been fine. All these delusions, they're not doing much. <clears throat> yeah, I'm everything else game's just over. I'm not quite sure what I should do here. Kill the troll. I guess we're killing the troll. Play time walk. Single bait is better on the play now. Maybe I'm 
making my deck a little clunky. To free seven drops. On the play, I have more time to cast them. That the hand that gets me that's oh that's a hand isn't it that's a hand oh is that getting me to win five five lands I mean, I got the two drop, I got the four drop. I, I mean, I want the egg, right? I want the egg. good that's not a troll or any expensive thing <laughs> those two together kill the kill the thing I guess <sighs> looks like they're gonna cast the four drop no okay that that makes me think they have s snake skin the way they played these troll on turn four. Alright, alright. I can make a lot of mana with spike food as if. Amando, thanks for the raid. Um, let's just pass. So I can I can spike field and generate like one mana each. So I can go up to four mana if I want to. Hmm. Nice one. Walk would be a sick hit. Yeah. All right, I'm a twelve. <clears throat> How do I not mess this up? Um. Play Leer, attack, then I have three mana open. <laughs> I can make so much mana with these spike fields. Because I can flashback them too with the Leer out. Leer is pretty nice. Um, yeah. Question is, do I want to make any moves? I don't think so, because again, they have snake skin. I'm just gonna let them make a move first. It's so nice that the snake skin um, just like made them slower, right? Took a mana away each of the last three turns. They cast a two drop and turn, turn three. They cast a three drop on turn four. Are we making a move?
What if they have double snake skin? <laughs> Next turn I have a lot of mana. I don't have to do anything technically. I can just take go to four. Oh, actually, oh, I didn't see that. Right, it also does when it attacks. Okay, okay, wait. All right. Uh, okay, maybe I'm playing a little weird, uh, a little bad here. Maybe I should, maybe I should, should just kill the crawler beginning of combat or something like that. So I have access to five dragon's fires. Five, right? To the year. I have ten mana. <clears throat> so their board is not gonna survive. That's just I could have digged for a time walk, but I think I'd rather just wipe the entire board. And then I can kill them with the Hollow Storm Giants. So they don't have a snakeskin veil, obviously, uh, left in their hand. So this should be the kill. Let's go, Chad. The spike field for the win. Damn. You're welcome, Chad. <laughs> Let's go. Whoo. Damn, baby. All right, I'm sweating a little bit, I gotta say. That leer. Ah, oh, yeah, I put her on the sideboard for the green matchup, and she's delivering. Damn. Like, Lear is kind of similar to Time Walk in a sense that when... But, but Time Walk is just not as good. Like, when you have seven mana and you cast Time Walk, you make two one ones, you get another turn. That would maybe not beat my opponent, right? But Lear just gives me infinite value. And, like, if I have seven mana and a Lear, I have, like, Fading Hope... Dragons fires, um, yeah. Of course, on the draw she can be a little slow, but anyways, we got a giveaway. Let's go! All right, eight hundred people in the room. Woo, that was sick. 